history of cats in Cambodia is a long story even though it's only a short tale. On a sunny afternoon, a middle-aged computer programmer waiting in line for tickets to the royal palace was fascinated by the skinny cats playing at his feet. Some of them had tails that were crooked and short, while others had none at all. Having grown up in 1960s Moldova, he had seen tailless animals before and knew only one explanation, as a child, he heard that owners severed the tails of guard dogs to make them angrier. So when he visited Phnom Penh, he wondered if Cambodians chopped them off too. It wasn't the first time Royal Palace tour guide Tian Linieth had heard the question. While the domestic cat is one of the most common animals in the world, experts are divided on what breed the Cambodian short-tailed cat actually is and where it comes from. The history of cats in Cambodia is thought to go back centuries. Some historians say that cats lived in ancient Angkor, which ruled over present-day Cambodia and parts of Thailand and Laos from the 9th to the 15th century. Angkorian temples and sculptures depict many animals e elephants, crocodiles, lions, fish, horses, monkeys, turtles, cows and even dogs, but not domestic cats. Nonetheless, the word, cat, is mentioned several times in inscriptions on the stone doors of temples dating back as far as 611 AD, according to Imsokrathy, a Cambodian archaeologist and the spokesman for the Authority for the Protection and Management of Angkor, Apsara Authority. These inscriptions refer to servants who worked in the temples, nicknamed Cat, he said. The common people, at that time, were named after animals, trees, mountains or many things related to nature. There were also servants named Dog, he said. Another clue is an Angkorian ceramic in the shape of a cat, probably from between the 12th and 13th century. According to Louise Court, the curator for ceramics at the Smithsonian Museums of Asian Art in Washington, D.C., the brown glazed vessel depicts a fat cat with a collar, bell and long tail, held upright. One other publication describes similar vessels as representations of dogs, but the tail looks cat-like to me, Court wrote in an email. Later, in the 18th and 19th centuries, cats began appearing in Cambodian literature, especially in poems, where they were associated with femininity, Socrates said. Also around that time, we can find descriptions of rituals involving cats. 